Ушли и морда. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Ooh, what a punch. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. And they separate. Right under the elbow, somebody keeps playing. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. That knee might have landed there. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. Oh, he eats a knee. And they separate. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so beautiful. Take down to land. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows then he can get the finish. Lands with the ground and pass. 
Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Luke. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Goes back to that left kick once again. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Beautiful head kick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. That was a cutting leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Overhand left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Left hand punch from the clinch. Look at the turtle in that kick. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Such a fast leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, Lee defends on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Takedown defense holds up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, collar tie. Doing a nice job elevating with those knees. It's a good right hand right there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Clinch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he's got the tie clinch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big kick land. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And they separate. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Great punch. He engages in a single collar tie here. Nice head kick. Big punch to the clinch. And they separate. 
What a tricky hit. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. That is how you scramble, folks. Spinning back fist. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. And they separate. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Effective punch there by Lee. Ten minutes in the books. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. No problem. Relax. Take that big thing away last night. You ready to fight? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Double jab there by Lee. Nice head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Head kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slow. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man. Big kick in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience. <laughs> yes, I do. Horrible. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Close guard. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's got his back now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Trouble. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Single collar tie now, master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big head kick lands. Wow. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. What a punch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Right punches there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 
got to whip his hip into that kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. My goodness! Oh! And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Nice straight punch. Got the single collar tie. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. While that body kick was there early. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Let's go, get him off, dude. get him off. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. 20 seconds left. Back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Nice. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, big punch land. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Visibly limping here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, single collar tie here. Big leg kick land. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything's changing when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Left hand punch in the clinch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice straight right lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Head kick lands. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, single collar tie now. Clipped him with the right hand there. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is gonna take advantage of it? Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Cut the kick. There's that.
that patented head kick. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely crushing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Nice hammer fist. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't wanna be there, right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Back mount now. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Both fighters back to their feet now. Good stick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Oh. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game. And I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh! Lee gets in the clinch. Big ball punch man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Boy, tie plump. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, huge knees to the head. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees slide. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Under three minutes remain in round five. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All collar tie. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. 
All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's all smooth. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Lunges forward with a left there. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. And that one certainly found the target. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Try to establish that jab. That elbow got to the target very quick. Dig and kick. Nice knee to the midsection there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Fifteen seconds. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Full guardian, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 49-46, and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and...